always think positive. Hey, I'm gonna subscribe tonight, okay? Make it so special. So thank you so much for allowing me to do it. Hey guys, I'm Daniel. I might be doing some positive videos. I have no idea what I'll do. Let's go check it out. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> After the American Idol and all you young folks went on tour, you know, we, we saw you in Omaha. But it seemed like every night you were somewhere and you were crisscrossing. That had to be somewhat tiring, or how did you all handle that? The tour route wasn't super thought out. <laughs> yeah, that was a... I, I like to joke that they looked at a, a U.S. map and threw darts. <laughs> and said, that's how we're doing it. Um, but no, I, I think, uh, you know, we, I think everybody slept a lot. Because uh, we all learned how to sleep in a, in a bunk going down the road real quick. But, um, you know... Honestly, like, that was, I got some of my best sleep on that tour bus. Yeah, she slept the whole time. I mean, it's so comfy, and they have the curtains, and so it's super dark. You never know what time of day it is. And something about the motion of the bus, right? It's like, a, it's like being in a cradle, just getting gently rocked. And every now and then you hear horns honking. That's it. Do they follow you around with cameras? Because there's so many videos out there, is it? Oh. We, uh, the first few shows, Maddie was uh, wrapping up her yeah. Radio Disney documentary, was yeah. it? Um, and so, yeah, for the first few shows and all through rehearsals, we got, uh, the whole gang got to get asked how everything was going, and mm -hmm. we loved it. It, was, it was, didn't we, Maddie? <coughs> we loved being followed around by cameras our whole life. <laughs> no, um, uh, yes, they did follow me around to make like a documentary, which I have not watched yet. Because I'm like, I get weird about like watching myself. Like I haven't watched a lot of the stuff from Idol yet, because I just feel like I kind of cringe. You know what I'm talking about? I, I, I haven't watched any of it. When you watch the you on TV, it's like, oh, I I don't want to even see this. It's you know what I mean. And uh, so I haven't watched the documentary yet, but it will be nice to look back on someday. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of like, it's a lot of filming, right? So Caleb, I, I was at the Gallagher Blue Door and I filmed filmed the whole concert. Your video that I post posted has actually more views than Maddie's. Sorry, Maddie. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I just, you know. I'm kidding. I'd like to start off with an in your face. No, I'm just kidding. That's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, that was a good that was a good time. Kind of a last minute thing. But uh, yeah, it was a good time. Me? Uh, I, I was far too, we'll say non-athletic for sports. <laughs> Let's just say I had a lot more time in the kitchen. <laughs> um, no, I, uh, I played sports growing up. I started, uh, I, I, I was singing my whole life and uh, I had an uncle who uh, bought me a karaoke machine when I was like six and he gave me like Johnny Cash, Merle Haggard, Conway Twitty stuff and then my mom was trying to get me into 80s hair bands and stuff and so uh, you know I, I'd always been interested in singing um, and when I was probably 11 I started playing guitar and uh, from then on I, I, I learned my first song uh, Folks in Prison Blues and uh, I played my first show a month after and never stopped so our, our stories are kind of similar really a lot of, a lot of um, similar similarities do you have a question? Um, both of you, what have you learned from this journey? I have learned that Emma Munson is very, very good at selling my t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> and she has done a great job. I mean, seriously, all these pretty much t-shirts that you're seeing, Emma Munson does a great job doing that. Let's give her a round of applause for all of them. I forgot the question now. <laughs> what have you learned to learn? From this oh, thank you, Kale. You know what? It's a weird thing, but one thing that I've learned is that 
you have to be able to like make fun of yourself. Um, honestly, because there's going to be, a, I, I, I've learned that if you call out the weird or the awkward about yourself, then people don't, people can't really like pick on you or like, leverage. you know, they can't like, if you, if you're just like joking around and, and make a joke out of, you know, something that you did, um, then it's less awkward for everyone. That's kind of a weird thing. What have you learned? I, I think, um. I think something you have to learn real quick, especially when you're getting televised and everybody on the internet gets to pick at you and tell you what they don't like about you. You have to learn to kind of not care uh, so much, which, um, you know, because if you, the bad comments on a, on a, a YouTube video really, really hurt your feelings if you think about it too much. But I think I learned real quick, like, if, you know, this person probably just having a bad day or whatever, it's all good. So kind of similar to what Maddie said. What have the parents learned? What have the parents learned? <laughs> have fun with your kids while they're in the same state as you. <laughs> I think I think just to um, <laughs> um, I think just to you know we really um, value the time that we have as a family now because. You know, we don't have everybody together very often anymore, and so, um, you know, we try to make the most of those times, I think, um, just because, yeah, Maddie's not around as much as she used to be, and we certainly always want to be with her, but, you know, she's got a lot going on, so, um, and, and Hannah's, you know, away too, so we don't have a lot of time of, of all of our family together, so that, that's, that's stuff that we treasure when, when they're all there, so. What was the funniest thing that happened to you? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Um, this was... Uh, honestly, the one thing that's coming to me is when Katie Turner did her stage rehearsal for Oops, I Did It Again. She crouched down on the camera and she had a dress on and... Um, it was just, it was a, it was a funny moment for the, <laughs> for the rehearsal. We all went, Katie Turner, and she learned not to do that for the rehearsal, but we laughed so hard. They adjusted the camera. We <laughs> <laughs> yes. What was your funniest thing? Oh, the funniest thing. Um, when I met B.B. Rex, I uh, made a real fool of myself really quick, because I got scared, because, uh, everybody on the production was just I don't know they 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 kind of they worried me about it they were like don't you know don't uh don't embarrass yourself don't do this don't do that and so I I would have been fine if they said here's a person go talk to her but they scared me <laughs> and they were filming they never used any of the footage and uh, I don't know I was just intimidated by the time I walked in and she said something about and she was like kind of talking to me kind of talking to other people it wasn't a direct one on one thing and so I walked in and she said. Um, she was talking, and somebody said, Now, B.B., where are you from? And she goes, Oh, I'm from New York, or whatever. And, and um, she goes to me and is like, uh, You're not from New York? And I said, No. Nope. And that was her way of asking where I was from. And she's like, So where are you from? And I was like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> Georgia. That's, that's the most idiotic I looked through the whole process. Thank you so much for coming and supporting me. You guys have been so great to me. Um, throughout this whole journey and you still are it's so great because you know when you're on the show it's like all um, you know lights and camera and like um, you know it's like a big it's a big deal at the time but when you're off you worry that you know have people forgotten about me or is anyone you know is anyone gonna care now that I'm not on TV but